What is his bundle ECG? Heart block can occur at AV node, then it is known as AV nodal block. Block can occur below AV node, that is infranodal block, or at the bundle branch, so that is known as bundle branch block. So very small area, AV node just below the AV node or bundle branch block, that is the site of this AV block. So where is the block? How to find out? So by looking at the ECG, we just identify, okay, there is some AV block is there. We cannot identify what is the site of the block. So for that, we need to do his bundle ECG. So for doing his bundle ECG, we guide a catheter with electrodes to right heart near the tricuspid wall. Okay, so this is the right heart. Somewhere here near this the tricuspid wall, a electrode is guided via the veins. It reaches to the heart. And then the electrical activity is recorded by this electrode. And this electrical activity is known as his bundle electrocardiogram. Okay. So this his bundle electrocardiogram shows three deflection. A, H, V. A, H, V. Okay. A for AV node. H for his bundle. And V for ventricular depolarization. So A deflection occurs when there is AV node activation. H spike occurs during transmission of impulse through his bundle and V deflection occurs during ventricular depolarization. Simply remember A, H, V. Okay. Now, these deflections we study in combination with ECG. Okay. So, using normal ECG and his bundle ECG, three intervals are calculated. That is P, A interval, A, H interval and H, V interval. Okay, so you see this is the his bundle ECG. Let me magnify a little bit. And this is the ECG. What is PA interval? PA interval is the start of the P wave to the start of the A wave. Okay, this is the A deflection. So the start of the P wave to the start of the A deflection is PA interval. AH interval, start of the A wave, start of the A wave to the start of the H wave. That is AH interval. And HV interval, again, start of the H wave, this one, start of the H wave to the start of the V wave. Okay, simple. So, we just use all the waves and the P waves of ECG, all the waves of his bundle electrogram and ECG to determine these three intervals, PA, AH and HV interval, right? Now, PA interval, what it will signify? What is the physiological correlate? It represents Conduction time from SA node to AV node. Okay. So you see we are getting some extra information here. PA interval is conduction time from SA node to AV node. AH interval, you can tell A is during AV node activation. H is during his bundle activation. So it represents the what is the time delay in the AV node. Okay. So AV node conduction time it tells. HV interval from his bundle to the ventricular depolarization. So, it represents the conduction through bundle of his and bundle branches. So, whichever is delayed, we can find out where the problem is, where the delay in conduction is occurring, right? So, that was about his bundle ECG. We get three deflections, A, H, V and in combination with ECG, we determine three intervals, PA interval, AH interval and HV interval. So, based on these intervals, we can determine the site of the heart block. If PA interval is prolonged, that means somewhere above AV node is the problem. AH interval prolonged means problem is in the AV node. And HV interval prolonged means below AV node, maybe in the bundle of his conduction delay is there. 